You wanted a video about Funko NFTs, so we're gonna deliver. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all time high. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. talk about that can we talk about the Gringotts bank display that thing looks awesome I know no we have to talk about NFTs are you serious yeah there's a lot of people who are asking for it in the comments on yesterday's video people were literally begging for a video about NFTs and it's because no one understands what the hell is going on including me but I'm making a video. I'm gonna explain everything. And I'm probably gonna screw it up. So I wanna preface this video with, we don't know what's going on. We did some research. I think we pulled some pretty cool numbers. I don't know how accurate they are, but we're gonna do our best to try to explain this whole NFT thing. By the way, we made an NFT video a long time ago. You guys must've totally missed it. We explained most of this. Well, not really. I think we just said it's stupid. I think that's exactly what we did. And I was hoping that this time we could do the same thing, but people want real information. Well, we'll give them real information, but I'll probably say multiple times throughout this video that NFTs are stupid. When I thought about doing the NFT video today, the first thing that came to mind was, what, what do you think? What? Ah! All right, so what are NFTs? Well, they're non-fungible tokens. What's up now, mother Earlier this year, Funko announced that they would be getting into the NFT game. And an NFT is basically a digital representation of something that may or may not have a physical item attached to it. And in Funko's case, there is the possibility of a physical item attached to their NFTs. So Funko's NFTs are basically digital collectibles. These are digital Funko Pops. I know that this is something you're very excited about. Who didn't want a digital Funko Pop? Okay, but let's be clear. Are they digital Funko Pops or are they digital Funko Pop trading cards? Cause that's what they look like. I don't f know. We're gonna explain how to purchase an NFT, when they're gonna go on sale and everything else. But first head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. That's right, we don't offer NFTs here. You can just throw your money at us and we'll buy cool things like this Blacklight Eddie Brock that we're gonna give away during a live Google Meet chat. Also, our patron support, the Gasocast Studio and Mischief Toys. And if you don't know what Mischief Toys is, well, keep an eye out very soon because we're gonna be dropping all sorts of information about our good pal, Gasly. Basically, what we're trying to say is, our Patreon is much more valuable than these NFTs because you probably won't get a physical item with an NFT. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. So the first Funko NFTs will go on sale August 3rd, and these are Ninja Turtle related. Cool. Okay. There are gonna be two different packs that you can purchase. A pack that costs $9.99, where you'll get five digital cards, and then a pack that costs $29.99, where you'll get 17 digital cards. These cards will be purchased on WAX, the Worldwide Asset Exchange. It's a leading decentralized video game and entertainment network. The WAX blockchain is a safe and convenient way to buy, sell, and trade virtual items. So anyway, you gotta go to WAX. There's a YouTube video that explains everything about WAX. I watched the video, I fell asleep for a little while, I woke up, I took a really big poop, I came back to try to watch it again and fell asleep again, and then I just never finished it. But it seems to be a pretty easy thing to do. Yeah, you just sign up and then, I don't know. Yeah, you do all the rest of it after you do that. Mm -hmm. You can find a link to that video down in the description below. So once you purchase your packs, you can actually download another app you're gonna download the Token Head app, which is where you're gonna control all of your digital playing cards. I need a bigger phone. Where's my Candy Crush gonna go? People still play that? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, Mr. Pokemon Go. Do you play Angry Birds too, you old hag? I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to say that. On a side note, you can't spend over $300 in the same transaction. Why would I want $300 worth of digital cards? Some people go big or go home. 
They like to go hard. Okay, so each series will be a one-time drop apparently, and there's a lot of cards mixed into this whole thing, and we'll give you a full breakdown of all the cards. We're gonna tell you everything. We're gonna tell you about how you can get Funko Pops out of this whole thing. It gets really crazy, but first, head over to poppingofftoys.com. They have all the Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, and Funko Mystery Minis that your little heart desires. Head over to poppingofftoys.com. All right, so this whole thing begs the question. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is now. What is going to come in the future? Are we going to get all the Funko properties? Are we going to get Star Wars? Are we going to get DC? My favorite Marvel? How is this all going to play out down the road? Has everybody signed on to this thing? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I don't know. Will the Star Wars ones come with little stands? And will Marvel have a bobblehead? I really don't care about any of this. Okay, we can move on to a different subject. So there are 270,000 NFT tokens. That's a lot of tokens. That's a lot of digital collectible cards. Out of those 270,000 digital cards, there are only 7,560 pops total. That's it. That's all that they have to offer physically. Everything else is digital. That's a very slim chance you're getting something that's physical. Yes. This is a perfect timing for this. Okay, let's do this together. Let's get physical, physical. Come on, just dance with me. Let's just do the, come on, I'll sing the song. You don't have to sing. I just want you to dance with me. Is it let me see your body talk? Let's get physical, physical. Let's get physical, physical. Let me see that body talk. That body talk. Let me see that body talk. Do we really have to go back to talking about NFTs? This is fun let me see that body talk okay so let's discuss the different types of nft cards that you can purchase you have 132,300 common cards that's a 49 percent chance of pulling a common card and by the way the picture you're seeing right now was shared by pop vinyl guy on instagram then you have uncommon cards and the total uncommons are 72,900 cards. So you get a 27% chance. There are 44 common designs. Next up with 27 designs are your uncommons. There are 72,900 uncommon NFT cards. Then with 15 different cards, you have rares. These account for 14% of the cards, and there's 37,800 of those cards total. And then you're getting into more rare territory with your epic cards. There's only 10 epic designs, 21,600 epic cards total, leaving you at an 8% chance to pull an epic. If you collect all of the common designs, all of the uncommon designs, all of the rare designs, and all of the epic designs, that's 96 different cards total, you can receive- Hold on. You can receive the ugliest piece of shit Funko Pop you've ever seen in your life. Did you see it? It's really stupid. It looks horrible. It is really It's stupid. Skater Freddy with like a mask on. That's even worse than I thought it looked. It's literally the worst. Then you move on to even more rare items. There are only three legendary designs. You have a black light bebop. You have some sort of shreddery looks metallic or something. Black, maybe chromish Casey Jones. Each of those are 1,000. 467 pieces. You only have a 1.63% chance to pull a legendary card. There's only 4,401 of those total out of the 270,000 digital cards. Okay, that's super rare. Oh no, you haven't even heard the worst of it. Last but not least, you can pull one of 999 cards, which is a 0.37% chance, one design where you get a Leonardo that looks like he's on like a heat radar. So basically this whole thing is like buying a digital mystery box. Except the difference is you get digital bullshit and True. a very slim chance to get a physical item. People love mystery boxes. They right. love the chance of getting something super rare and they love the chance of possibly being a flexor. Okay, that's cool, but I hate this argument because at least with a mystery box, you're getting an item back. With these, you're not guaranteed shit. Totally agree with you. Besides those stupid fake digital on your computer only trading cards. Those Marvel ones better have a bobblehead. So let's talk numbers for a moment. I did a lot of math. I'm a math whiz. I love math. Hopefully I didn't get any of this wrong because I just said that I'm a math whiz. Well, hold on. Let's preface this with 
We don't know if these numbers are right, but we got them as close as we could get them by using both of our heads. We put them together and came up with these numbers. Expect something awesome. All right, so there are 20,000 five packs that are gonna be available and they cost $9.99 a piece. That makes Funko a total of $199,800 off of these things. Oh my God, they're digital. Hold on. Then there's 10,000 packs of 17, which costs $29.99 each. That makes Funko a total of $299,900 for a grand total of $499,700. Okay, so this is brilliant. Do you want to know why? Why? There's a total of only 7,560 pops. 270,000 NFTs. That's a lot of NFTs, okay, continue. And a little bit of pops, okay? A little tiny bit of pops. Selling these NFTs is gonna make Funko almost $500,000. Oh my God. Don't oh my God yet, because if they sold 7,560 pops outright on their website, they would be pulling in $113,400. But because they're including it with the NFTs, the digital cards, they're making over quadruple that amount. That's ridiculous. Yeah. As a consumer, I am pissed, but as someone who understands business, I'm also pissed because I didn't think of this shit first. You're so jelly. I am jelly. I think we could do some NFTs. I can do sick figures. Can you do like a sun? I can't draw anything. I'm horrible. What about like clouds? I tried one time and it looked like shit. So you can't do anything? No, I can't. So Funko's brilliant. They are brilliant, and you know people are gonna eat each other alive over these things. Do we really think that though, Heather? I'm not seeing a whole lot of people jumping up and down for joy about these things. They will when they see the chance to get these limited pops because people love a limited number item. Mm, it's true. I don't like the fact of having something that's digital and I have to open an app to show you what it is. Yeah, that's like saying, hey guys, come to my house, I'll show you my collection. Uh, but instead you're like, hey, I have my collection right here. I would much rather show you a picture of my dog than show you pictures of fake ass digital playing cards. What about me? You can't show a picture of me. I'm cute. Oh, this is some bullshit. So how do you get these physical pops? 120 days after you receive your legendary or grail cards or all of the common, uncommon, rare, whatever, 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 you will receive a coin. Digital coin. A digital coin, not a real coin, a digital coin. And it'll be put into your wax wallet. And what you can do is you can turn that in and it goes away, it like disintegrates, and Funko will send you a free Funko Pop. Once a redemption coin is deposited into your account, you will have 30 days to redeem your physical pop. Redeeming a redemption coin burns the coin and it no longer can be in your wallet. Can we also talk about the fact that in order to get that dumb, what is it, Leonardo with the skateboard or Freddy Funko guy, you need to get 96 cards. 96 cards. In order to get 96 of those cards, if you're super duper lucky and somehow get just one of each card and no duplicates, you have to spend a minimum of $179. Wow. Yep. And that's if you're spending the $29.99 on the 17 pack. That's a lot of money for a very slim chance. What are the chances of you getting 102 cards when purchasing six of the 17 packs and you get all 96 of those cards to redeem for that stupid Freddy Funko turtle thing. That's extremely slim. You're probably looking at like hundreds more. Oh, absolutely. In order to finish the whole set, to spend all of that in order to get it really sucks. However, if you're really deep into collecting these digital cards, then it won't matter because you're collecting the digital cards and the Funko Pop is basically just an added bonus. Yeah, but why, I just don't understand. People like it, Heather. People love collecting stuff, and now we're getting into digital collecting. Another side note, 
you can trade these things. And I'm sure a lot of people will be doing that to try to complete their set. So, I mean, that would work out pretty well, but because it has to go through like a blockchain or whatever, it shows you all the owners and everything, which is very weird, but also sort of cool because once you own it, you own it, it's yours, it's nobody else's. And there's no faking them. You can't fake a digital card, but you can fake a Funko Pop. Well, the plus side about these things is that you don't have to take up shelf space. That's cool, I guess. Our best tip is to go over and watch the tutorial that we have down in our description. Also, remember these go on sale on August 3rd, so you're gonna wanna keep your eyes out for these. I'm sure it's gonna be plastered all over the internet and all over social media. It will not be hard to find, but we wonder, will you be buying these? Is this something that you're gonna collect? Is this something that you're excited about? We would love to know that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons on Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Trish and Raj, I'm Funko Jeff, Mark and Paige, Mr. E. Gomez, Jeff and Angela Harvey, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, John Bailey, Sean Griffiths, and Carl Wilson. Thank you so much to all of our patrons on Patreon. We appreciate you guys so much. You guys rock. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.